Hi, what's your name? My name is Theda Phoenix. And you are from? I'm from Vancouver, Canada. And what do you do? I am a sound healer. I work with my voice, actually, primarily mm -hmm. uh, to create music and experiences that help people to uh, relax deeply, slow down, go into meditation uh, through the facilitation of beautiful sound. Uh, and I play crystal singing bowls and a variety of different sound healing instruments. As we well had one session of you in, the, in this and uh, meditation, and it was, I must say, it's mesmerizing. How do you feel about this Mega Meditation Summit? Uh, it's been really lovely. It's been quite inspiring to be around so many people who are so tuned in spiritually and so open to the spiritual sciences, the power of the pyramid, the power of, of sacred geometry, and uh, harnessing energy beyond, you know, like through the possibility, through meditation, yeah. and when we uh, allow the presence of the tools that really help support the elevation of the energy. So you have been, of course, you do a lot of different, um, you know, all, everywhere you go for you know, different summits, you play, of course, and people, because I, I was one of your person who attended your session, and I think it was 45 minutes or an hour, and I, I wanted it to be more, right? Because I don't want it to stop. So you have been through all this summit. So what do you think this three days, what strength we had in these three days of Mega Meditation Summit? What was the difference or what was different in these three days if you compare with other events you attend? Oh, it's hard to compare uh, for me because every event has unique, yeah. you know, a unique aspects of through their intention, through mm -hmm. their focus. And uh, definitely the the spiritual element uh, of this like how open people are to so many um, tools beyond a lot of what the mainstream yes. is promoting this is very much like expanding into a lot of the possibilities mm -hmm. that are not generally uh, out there aware mm -hmm. you know so it, it's an opportunity for people to really explore deeper uh, underneath you know yes what else there is spiritually mm -hmm. So in three days, the most focus we were on the pyramid energy. Mm -hmm. So did you experience the pyramid energy before or it was the first time you were? Well, I have been uh, using pyramid energy through visualization in, oh, wow. my, okay. yeah, in my sound baths mm -hmm. uh, since 2008. That's why they are so powerful. <laughs> I yeah, mean, of course, your voice true. as well. But, you know, I mean, I always say that I have done a lot of sound baths. And again, there's no comparison. Everyone has their own unique style and energy. But this was totally different. Even the kids section when they have. My daughter was one of them. And all she was said that the voice, the energy. She like, I don't want it to stop. And generally, a nine-year-old not, does not say that. Oh, but she said it. So, of course, I've, 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 now I know. you know, that, Because pyramids, what we have felt, meditation is there. But pyramids, you get different more deeper and with your angelic voice and of course it was mm -hmm. it was very good yeah so i i started through visualization bringing in the the pyramid mm -hmm. to surround when i would lead events to anchor this beautiful and powerful energy uh to raise the vibration and yeah just add that quality and, and yeah i was just doing that i think through intuitiveness and and spiritual awareness that i had gained along the way on my journey and so this has been amazing to so how did your journey side you know you have such everyone has beautiful voice and a lot of beautiful things but you have some difference you know i don't know what how to explain even sometimes you have no words so how does your journey started into all that stuff? Yeah, so when I was a kid, when I was about nine years old, I had a couple of experiences. Uh, one experience I had was hearing a piece of music in, uh, in my school, in the assembly, and I felt such a deep emotional connection in that moment. I felt the music touching my heart, and it was a feeling like this kind of beauty lives inside of me. There was a recognition because of how yeah. deeply moved I was. And I went home, I said, Mom, I have to learn piano, I have to learn music. But it wasn't it wasn't necessarily the piano, but um it was it was the creation yeah. of that music. And then I also had an experience when I was nine years old, 
spontaneously one day. I, I used to be a very deep thinker. I've always mm. been a deep thinker. So as a child, I would question what is existence? What is yeah. reality? What is this, this mm. experience of being in this body? I, mm. I'm me. Uh, this is like, what, what is this? Right. It's amazing. And, and so from a young age, I was thinking deeply about life and existence and, and I had an experience one day spontaneously. It was as if the, the veil opened mm -hmm. to the veil to where I came from spiritually. And this light came into the top of my, of my crown. Oh, wow. And it was this feeling that my soul came here for a reason and that I came here for a reason. I didn't know what it was, but I had this sense of the whole world in front of me. Like I came here for the whole world and <laughs> it was very powerful. And then I actually had that experience later on when I was 21. Again, mm -hmm. I was reading um, Women's Bodies, Women's Wisdom. It was a, a book about how people, women healed physical illness mm -hmm. through addressing a non-physical aspect of their life. Okay. And when they did that, their illness mm -hmm. healed. And I, I went outside after reading this book for hours and I suddenly, I looked up at the sky and the trees and suddenly I had the same experience of this light coming into my crown and through my central channel and this feeling of absolute certainty that I'm here to facilitate healing. And that's why, I, why my soul came here. And you know, you're so right. If you see PSSM for med with meditation, music is a big aspect. Like in the morning, we did music meditations. And with you, we felt that, you know, when there was music, first your mind wanders very less. And then you really go to yeah. that deeper no zone state. Mm -hmm. So yeah, music has always been a very big part in PSSM. And after that, I think now with you, we have actually feel mm -hmm. that how natural beauty and natural music really helps you go in better. Yeah, because it's so connected, the, the, the beauty, right? In connecting with our spiritual, with source, it, it's, it's beauty helps us open up yeah. our heart, right? And open up to that awe. And yeah, so beauty, I feel, is as a path to spirituality and awakening as well. So another question is, it's all over happening around the world. You know, we have seen with politics and religion and all that. Do you think meditation, where do you, what's your take on meditation and music and all that stuff? What do, what do you say about that? That do we, we should get into meditation or this will really help to raise the consciousness or especially for the kids? Because they are the they are young, that's our future, younger generation. Mm -hmm. So what should you tell parents that, sh what should they do? To, should they introduce their kids to meditation or with this music and all that stuff? What's your take on that? I think that it's, yeah, if people get introduced to things, um, they have access to, yes. to something that they didn't have access to before because we can, we are, ex what we're exposed to, we tend to absorb. So it's definitely good to help expose people of all ages especially young people to to different things because like me they might be questioning and i had experiences of music that were so beautiful and encouragement along the way to to sing yeah. even though i was quite shy and then i, I i'll just to share a little bit more about what you asked me earlier of my journey i i was actually very shy even though i had this calling to sing my whole life also so through some personal development um and spiritual practice i opened up my voice mm -hmm. and the channel and started to sing intuitively in the moment and wow. just let my from my heart and so i let words and and melody and song flow through me after that and that's when i realized that that was a healing my voice had a healing frequency mm -hmm. that that I that's for sure with my healing work yeah that's so, for sure because not everyone has such a lovely voice or maybe have i don't well, know i think it's that what i believe is that and i help people to open their voices as well through mm -hmm. um through teaching intuitive singing practice mm -hmm. uh, and it's when we when we move the blocks and the inhibitions and yes. the constraints that's when we have a natural connection with our emotions our heart uh, and there's the, and the sound that comes through is authentic and free. Mm -hmm. And when the sound is authentic and free, it feels good and it feels healing to us and others. Yes, true. Yeah. So what is the message for all our audiences and message for us as organizers? What we can do better mm -hmm. or what we have done better or what? I think this is only the second year. Yes. And so any new yes. event, there's always things to be able to learn from mm -hmm. and, uh, having, yeah, it's as we have more and more people coming, yes. 
it's great having the different workshop spaces yes. and having that very like clear so people can access and and then having main events as well is really wonderful yes. because then you get the whole group together yeah. and you get that shared energy experience um and so yeah just to continue to refine yeah. i would think uh the the whole thing but it's amazing all the volunteers and everyone yes. that has come together to to create this and produce this and uh, so much heart and conviction as well on the and message for our audiences mm -hmm. yeah i am a big proponent to uh trusting your inner intuition trusting your inner feeling about what feels right and and where you feel guided to but also to um i love what our uh, party was saying the other night about you know like being able when we have a clear channel spiritually and that's what meditation yes. helps us to when we're not listening to all of the 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 thoughts and you know we don't necessarily yeah. it's i love the the i love the statement don't believe everything you think Yes, right. Just because you're thinking it doesn't mean it's, it's true. true at all. And so it's like coming back to the clarity, the true, the truth of of our being, of presence, and and then love. And I love. There was another phrase too that love actually protects us. Yes. We think that fear protects us, yeah. but actually yeah. it's love that protects us. And I've had such powerful experiences of this when I've been so in my heart and and just love. I I know. I'm perfectly safe yeah. and able to navigate the world and connect with other beings and that my energy will be um like like attracting like mm -hmm. right so when I'm in that loving frequency then I'm going to meet amazing people yes. and be supported and everything I need will be arriving you know supported all right thank you so much Tita thank we love you. we will see you again next year and looking forward for that thank you so much thank That's you so, so much to be here